Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to Friday. It's finally Friday. What what did I just say? Whew. It's finally Friday. That means for somebody that's financially independent like me, the stores be more crowded. So I try to avoid stores, avoid, am I saying that right? Avoid stores, beaches, public places on weekends because they're extra crowded because that's when the workers are off. So anyway, I'm going to talk about the fastest way to wealth on my humble opinion. And as always, I am Masky Finance, and today is April 21st, year 2023. I didn't say that. So I'm going to talk about the fast way to wealth, and I am Masky Finance. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a CPA. I'm not an attorney. I am not a doctor, not a nutritionist. So what is the fastest way to wealth? I'll give you just a precursor of something. Tomorrow, I'm going to have a special guest on my channel. Hopefully there's no glitches. Hopefully I get it uploaded okay. And with this guest, I am going to share some nice information that will help this person to invest in real estate. And I encourage all of you to tune into it. They are an investor, but I'm going to help them out to become a better investor to broaden their portfolio. Okay? So to become the fastest way to wealth, there's a couple things you got to do. One, you really need to start investing in cash paying assets, such as real estate. Two, you need to take care of yourself. All right, I want to branch out a little bit on some thoughts on how to take care of yourself based on something I found out yesterday about myself. Okay, and then I'm going to bring it back to real estate. All right, this could get a tiny bit long, but we shall see. All right, breaking news in Maskey's health. Okay, I did something yes I, I found out something yesterday I did it last week I did a test last week I haven't told you about this test I don't think remember I am working on several different tests I had 22 tubes of blood taken and a urine test to have over 100 tests run the Mrs. Maskey and myself both did it we've seen our results but we haven't got our comprehensive report back from the doctors just yet but we've seen the numbers okay by and large we're healthy Okay, there are some issues, there are some things, but there, I guarantee almost all of you, unless you're 18 years old and healthy, you're going to have something in there, probably. Some sort of suggestion, something. Okay, we also recently, you might remember me showing you, I had a continuous glucose monitor up there. It's now been off for almost a week. I got to do my lesson today. Every day we get a lesson in our app, our Zoe app, but I haven't done mine yet today. Um, There's two lessons for today. I did see it. Okay, I haven't done them yet today. Um, so I'm waiting on that comprehensive report also. That'll be a while. They're going to identify the 30, 30 of the gut microbiome that we have. They're going to give us feedback on our body's individualized, personalized response to both fat and sugar, fats and sugar. Okay. What I told my doctor when I saw her a while, no, I told her in an email, I asked for a referral. Everything I'm doing is because of my initiative. Okay. I made the initiative to get all this testing done. And I'm finding out things about my health that now I can take corrective and preventive action to fix things, hopefully, okay? I also, when I was at the doctor, asked for a referral to the dermatologist. They didn't tell me that I need to go to the dermatologist. I asked for a referral to the dermatologist. I then, the dermatologist did an overview of my body. They brought up the spots they recommend I cut off on my back, which is coming up fairly soon. The dermatologist did not see something. I pointed out something on my legs that I had seen. And the dermatologist looked closely and said, you have stasis dermatitis, which is, they told me two things to do that do not fix the problem. They treat the symptom. They do not fix the problem. So I've been doing some digging around and I have found things that should attack the issue. I am working on those. Nothing happens overnight, okay? But things are progressing with that. It's looking better to my eyes, okay? What I just did last week, I asked my doctor in an email for another referral. I wanted to have a bone density scan because they got a DEXA machine now, DEXA bone density test, okay? I recommend, and I, let me tell you about this first, and I've got a recommendation for anybody watching this, everybody and anybody, because my guess is you're at least 20 years old, 
and older, up to maybe 70 or 80 that are watching this, I have two recommendations for you that I truly, I recommend that most doctors are not going to tell you to do this until you get old and you already got a disease that might tell you to do it. But the DEXA bone density scan, everybody should get one done. I'll just say by the age, and remember I'm not a doctor, by the age of 35. Why? Our bones are constantly rebuilding themselves. Our bones are flexible. They're, they're firm, they're strong, but they're a little bit flexible, okay? They're constantly rebuilding themselves. They break themselves down, they rebuild. That's, it's, it's happening to all of us, okay? As we get older, our bones slow down on the rebuilding, okay? You might hear the terminology sometimes with an elderly person. They have brittle bones, and they could break easy if they fall. They're brittle, okay? That does happen. Why does it happen? They lose their flexibility. Why is they, they lose their flexibility? Because they lose their density. And they also combine with sometimes taking medication that a doctor prescribes that makes their bones brittle, that is supposed to prevent them losing their bone density. But this medication they will prescribe will increase the chance over a couple of years of getting some weird bone fractures, okay? So anyway, when I had the bone scan last week, I got results yesterday. I have in two spots what's called osteo, not osteoporosis, osteopenia. You, they measure your bone density with a number. It's a T number. It's a negative number, like a 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.1, negative, okay? Once you get to 1 point, 0 0.1, 1 1.1, negative, something like that, you got osteopenia, okay? You've lost a little bit of bone density. Once you get higher to 2.5, negative 2.5, then you have osteoporosis, okay? If you look or ask a doctor, they'll tell you this is not reversible. I dare say there are cases I have found out both osteoporosis and osteopenia are reversible, okay? They are reversible. So why do you want to get one of these tests done when you're, say, by the age of 35? You can get a baseline. No one knows how dense your bones are. You are different than me. When we were both 20 years old, our bones were different densities. Maybe what I have is how I've been since I've been 18 years old. Or maybe I've gotten wor a lot worse since I was 35. You know, maybe my bones when I was young were denser, like super dense, and now they're not. I might have lost a lot more than what they might think. I might be the same as I was when I was 17. I never had the baseline scan done. The DEXA scan, I've been heard in a video is cheap around $100 if you had to pay for it without insurance. I Googled it and it said here in Florida, it might cost between like 170 and 270 without insurance, okay? If you just go to your doctor and you're in your early 30s or 35ish and you ask for a DEXA bone scan, they might say, why? They might not give you a referral because you don't have a reason. I'm not telling you to lie, but if you say you have older relatives, because almost all of us do, or if you were adopted or don't know who your parents are, your older relatives probably have osteoporosis or osteopenia, because almost everybody, as they get older, get it. Almost everybody. Might not get osteoporosis, but get osteopenia. It starts. It's happening. Okay? So if you get the baseline, you can see where you're at. Then when you get another test done, when you're 50, 55, 60, you can compare it to what you just did. Did you keep the record, okay? What's the other thing you should do by the time you're 35? I'll tell you. You should do a colonoscopy, okay? And with the bone scan, remember I told you, it can be reversed with the uh, osteopenia or osteoporosis. I am going to reverse what I have, okay? Colonoscopy, why should you get one of them? Folks, professional athletes, movie stars, have gotten colon cancer in their 20s, 30s, and 40s and died from it, okay? These are famous people we hear about. We don't hear about Joe Blow, Jane Doe, who get die of colon cancer when they're 20 or 30 unless they're our teacher or they're our friend or they're in our family. We don't really hear about it, okay? But it's happening to younger people more and more because of the poor diet that we all eat. It's ingrained in our society. We're lamb blasted with food commercials on TV. We're lamb blasted with 
uh, pharmaceutical commercials on TV. Every medicine has a side effect. Food can prevent illness, okay? Food can prevent colon cancer. Food can prevent osteoporosis. Food can prevent dementia and Alzheimer's, okay? Something for y'all to think about. If you're a female watching this, when you go through menopause, odds are you will start losing calcium and your odds are all of your deficient in vitamin D already. And as you're a female and you start to go through menopause and it does more stuff, changes, hormonal changes, females have an increased risk of getting osteoporosis than males, but males do lose it. Something I've also heard, my testosterone levels are good. They may be getting better when I get feedback from my blood test, but they're good. A lot of men my age, they're not good. Okay, I found that out. A lot of men my age have low testosterone. Why? Bad diets. They're not eating plants. Fruits, vegetables, nuts, legumes, seeds, mushrooms. Mushrooms are a fun guy, but they're a plant for this matter. Okay, so anyway, why do you want to do this? Because you want to be financially independent and you want to live to be potentially 120 years old, right? If you're getting colon cancer when you're 27, like Trey Mancini, or you're getting it and dying when you're 43, like Chadwick Bosman, Bozeman, or some other person, you're not going to live to be 120. If you're getting osteoporosis and you fall when you're 67 and break your hip, you're probably going to die in a year or so. You're not going to live to be 120. So if you want to become financially independent, which this channel will teach you how to become financially ind independent, because you're going to start buying real estate if you watch my channel. You want to live as long as possible. Maskey's gotten some hiccups in his quest for longevity. Maskey has had seven polyps removed from intestines and his stomachs, stomach. He has had been diagnosed with stasis dermatitis, circulation issues in his legs. Both those problems he's working on correcting. He had a bone scan done because I wanted it. I would never have known this until maybe I broke my hip when I was 70 years old. I never would have done this, you know, known about this. But I requested a bone scan. What, what excuse did I give? I have scoliosis. That's all the doc needed. That was the reason to get the next bone scan. Okay. A lot of people have scoliosis. Has anyone ever hinted to you you have scoliosis? That may be something you could tell the doc. Maybe if you have it. Okay, but now I can take corrective action, which is that corrective action. I'll just tell it to you in a nutshell. It's everything I've talked about, and everything I keep hearing over and over and over and over again. It is eating healthy, eating a primarily plant based diet, 80 to 90 percent plants. We do need some meat, perhaps. There are other people out there who say we need no meat, we can get all our protein from vegetables. Yes, we can get all of our protein from plants. Okay, beans and nuts, we can get all the protein we need. We can take protein powders as well if we need more protein. Okay, um, I've also heard a lot of reference here related to bone broth. Beef bone broth and chicken bone broth. Okay, they both have collagen and protein. And it's a liquid you drink or it's, it can be a powder that you can buy. In coffee hack, you can put that uh, bone broth into your cup of coffee along with your turmeric, your black pepper, your ginger, and your cinnamon. Coffee hack. You don't really taste it. The bone broth may give you a meat flavor, but if you like meat, <laughs> make your coffee taste better. And you get some added protein, you get some collagen and whatnot to help your bones, okay? If you have any circulation issues in your legs, stasis dermatitis, spider veins, if you're in your 30s or older, look at your legs, look at your ankles, look around different parts of your legs, do you have any little teeny tiny veins that you're starting to see that maybe weren't there when you were a kid? They're starting to come out now. That's called spider veins. It's a spinoff of varicose veins. It's because of circulation issues. A lot of people have these and don't realize it until they get worse. If you have these issues and you're older and you have not talked to your doctor about it, if you want, reach out to me. And I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. But reach out to me. My email is always in the description. I will tell you what I am doing right now that seems to be helping my circulation because my problem seems to be 
starting to disappear because I am taking corrective action. That's what masking is about. Masking is about identifying the problem and fixing it. Back in 2020, Maskey sat down and wrote down a two-year plan of how he could get moved down to expensive South Florida. He didn't have the financial means to do it at that time. He said oh, within two years he would do it. He didn't know how he was going to do it in two years, but he said he would do it in two years. I then, Maskey, wrote down how I could do it. And from writing down how I could do it, I figured out how I could do it. And I did it in 11 months. Not even one year, okay? I did it a lot faster. But I had to write it down to figure it out. I had to set goals to figure it out. So if you want to become financially independent, you want to live to be 120-ish years old. There are steps you can take today. Doesn't matter if you're 20. Doesn't matter if you're 35. Doesn't matter if you're 70. Doesn't matter if you're 80. You can be 85 years old and think you're going to die in the next couple years because you're fragile. You can take steps to improve your health. Okay, You might not make it to 120, but you might tack on a few more years. And if you're financially independent, where you can kind of do whatever you want, kind of, within your financial means, don't you want to live as long as you can? So, one last little dig at someone out there. If you're eating bacon three times a week, it's processed meats. It is carcinogenic. Why do you want to get cancer when you're in your 30s or 40s? Because cancer is trauma to the body. Yes, they might cure it. They might cut it out of you or they might treat it. But why do you want to go through it? Think about it, all of you. Why do you want to go through getting sick? Because if you look around at society... Look around at people age 50 and up. How many of them are obese? How many of them have discoloration on their skin as they get older? How many of them, if you have older family members, how many of them end up going to the doctor a lot and going into the hospital a lot? Because the hospitals, every time I drive by one, every time I happen to go in one for an appointment, every doctor's office I go in, they're overwhelmed with patients, okay? Not just here, it was in Virginia too. All right, <laughs> enough of that. If you're still with me, tune in tomorrow. I'm going to have a special guest and I will give some very specific type real estate information of how someone can invest like I do. Yep, you're going to hear it from Maskey, the guy who went from zero to 25 rentals in four years and became a financially independent and a multimillionaire by doing that. All right, so that being said, have a great day. Maskey's signing out.